G'day guys, welcome to Matchbox where we run through the match is on at the moment, Australia versus Pakistan and I thought since it's Australia versus Pakistan we need a Pakistan commentator so joining me today is the very special Newman Tahir Say hi Hey guys Very good I hi That's good Okay, so I haven't done this before Obviously the live match is on now and what we're going to do is talk you through the game and also some interesting facts, you know, those sort of stuff. So yeah, situation of the game, Australia now, 3 for 301, Newman, what are your, what are your thoughts on that? Being a Pakistani, of course. Yeah, they're doing pretty good. Australia or Pakistan? Uh, I think they're doing pretty good. <laughs> Australia or Pakistan? <laughs> right, so how do you feel about Pakistan at the moment? How do you feel about Pakistan? I think we're gonna get a good start. They have Shirji Khan as like the T20 specialist. And he attached the ball like David Warner, so I'm pretty sure we're gonna get like 300 easy. Is that, did they bring a new guy in? You know, Shirji. Yeah, Shirji Khan. Khan. And he's he's in the side now. Yeah, like right okay. now, he's playing the match. And he's opening the batting? Yeah. Okay, okay, interesting. Okay, so. That's a good shot by Matt Renshaw. Just, I didn't actually see that. It's on the offside, and he moves on to 131 not out. Good start from Renshaw. Let's just run you through what happened this morning. Of course, David Warner made that brilliant start and continued on to eventually make 100 from him, about 70 yard balls. It was fast, typical David Warner style, and it was brilliant because he did it all in the first session. Yeah, and there was plenty of this. Matt Renshaw blocking his way through the first few balls and then you know eventually a well-timed 50 uh, sorry a well-timed ton it's currently 131 not out Peter Hanscom at the other end 70 oh he's come down the track and hit Yassir over the top that is a 6 that is a maximum great shot from Matt Renshaw the 20 year old proving himself at test level that is a spectacular shot hitting the leg spinner down the ground and I know you're not watching this, and quite frankly, I don't yeah. think you'd want to. That was just a beautiful clean hit. Good flight though from Yasir. Anyway, before we start anything else, I'd like to talk about, uh, well, I mean, since the BBL is on now, you know, you watched BBL Tahiri? No, not much. Aw, oh, shame. Anyway, Perth is on top of the table. They're really good. Yeah, we're, we're hell good scorches. Scorches are really, really good. How could you not watch the BBL? Anyway, there's this thing called um, Backyard Legends, where you post funny videos of you and your mates, you know, playing cricket in the backyard. And then you post it on social media, you get likes, and hopefully, you know, you, you get a chance. If you post your video and use the hashtag uh, Backyard Legends or something like that, you get you stand a chance to appear on TV during the BBL. So today, I'd like to give a shout out to my bro from another mo, Ryan Pottier, who's, you know, done a few videos like these. If I can just get them working so I can show them to you, Tahiri, because they are pretty good. I, I just got a haircut, by the way. How do you like it? I haven't seen it. My video's on. Oh. Dang, it's just the usual cut. Uh, okay. Wait, didn't you just get one like a few days ago? No, I need to get one. Yeah, but you just went like a few days ago. Okay, anyway, anyway, um, watch, watch this. Look at the catch. Oh, he's taking a screamer. Look at that. <laughs> I know, right? That's how you take a catch. That is how you catch. Not like you, Tahiri. I didn't do the swing and catch last season. Yeah, 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 you say that all the time. Okay, anyway. So, yes. That's basically Backyard Legends. Give him a like, because he's really good. And, you know, hopefully, and help him win the competition. Because I think if you appear on TV, an ex-cricketer picks the best video on TV and the winner gets something or other obviously so 
give him a like, follow his page, I'll link it down below, and take catches like that, Tahiri. Yo, Brian. Take catches like that. I wish take catches. Not like those. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway, Wahab Riasin wide of Yastam, driven by Peter Hanscom, and that will go to the boundary. And he will move on to 21. That is a glorious stroke from Hanscom. Australia move on to 3 4 3 1 5. And they are falling apart now, the Pakistanis. Yes? Oh, they just need two wickets. What's that? Yeah, they just need two wickets. Yeah, they, they just need, need to. They just need to go bang bang. Yes, yes, Shah need just needs to. Just needs to control his flight. Wahab Riaz is bowling really badly. He's got figures of 258, which isn't actually too bad, but... Yeah, well, look at his economy rates. Yeah, yeah, his, his economy rate's not too bad. But, I, I mean... Yeah, it's, it's we came, the others. Yeah, we came into the series knowing Yasir Shah would be the key for Pakistan as Wahab Riaz again, driven by Hanscom. A bit edgy, goes down to third man, and good stop there. From third man, I'm not sure who that is. Keeps it to a couple. Hands come now to 23. Of course, Shahjil Khan now in the side. Obviously, you like him. I haven't seen much of him. And of course, um, Hilton Cartwright, debutant for Australia today. And quite frankly, I don't really know much about him. He plays for Western Australia. Played, I think, his first match for WA this season. So he's not experienced at all. I don't think the selectors should have gone for him, but they might prove me wrong. Well, he's better than Nick he is. Everyone's better than Nick Madison. Let's just hope Nick Madison isn't watching this. Okay. Yeah, I haven't seen much of him. Have you? No, I have no idea. Is he an all-rounder? He's an all-rounder. He bowls medium paces. He hits the ball really hard. But, you know, so does Mitch Marsh, who is cracking up tons of runs in the BBL this season. I think selectors should have just gone back to him. But, you know, so this, you know, Hilton Cartwright might do well. Maybe. And all we can do is wish him well and hope he can extend Australia's lead. Although Tahiri's probably not thinking that's such a good idea. That's not a good idea. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, so after this series, where's Pakistan heading to? Um, I have no idea. I think South Africa, I'm not sure. South Africa, they're playing in South Africa? Oh, that's not such a good idea. Oh, uh, well. Uh, actually, no. just coming to Pakistan. Okay, then they might stand a chance. Okay. They obviously would. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone does. Um. Uh, yeah, Australia's travelling to India after this series. So, what do you think the possible team is for India? Let's talk about that. Well, I think they need to get three spinners and two fast bowlers, I guess. Yeah, yeah, of, of course, more spinners. They only opted to play two spinners in this game. Uh, of course, they went for Stephen O'Keefe instead of Ashton Agar. No surprises there. Yes, yes, Shah. Oh, and Peter Hanscom comes down the track. And my laptop has just crashed. And my your face is still my desktop background, by the way. What? Still? Yeah. I still have that background. Yeah, I still have it. <laughs> okay, anyway, Hanscom down to 24. Um, so, yeah. Yes, yes, Shah into bowl. And Hanscom off the back foot. Punches it to mid wicket for a single. And almost a misfield. But well backed up by mid off. Um, so, yeah. Steve O'Keefe gets another go at test match level ahead of Ashton Agar. No surprises there? What do you think? Would you have preferred Agar? Nice. Probably not. Yeah. For India, yeah. Yeah, for India, Australia might fancy their chances to play three spinners, so yeah, either way. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you get Lyon, O'Keefe, and maybe even Agar. But then, they'll have to leave out Jackson. Bird is bowling really well at the moment. Yeah, he's alright. Yeah, but I, I mean, they'll bring, they'll put in Stark and Hazelwood, and maybe, um... Yeah, definitely. But that means that they're using five bowlers. That's not very good. Go on. 
Yeah, you want six. No, 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 you want four. <laughs> yes, yes, sure. Comes into bowl. Oh, An appeal there from Yes, yes, sure. And it's given. Matt Renshaw is out. He might yeah. challenge this. I don't think it was Pat it's first. He's walking down the pitch now, Matt Renshaw. Talking to Peter Hanscom. I thought it was all bad in that. Yes, yes, Shah seemed pretty confident in his appeal. And I think he's reviewed. Uh, fair delivery there, yes, yes, Shah. Uh, let's just have a close. Oh, big inside edge. Huge inside edge. Overturned it straight away. Big, big inside edge. That is off the middle of the bat edge. So, not out. Australia still three down. <laughs> he appealed for LBW and and there's a massive edge. So here we go. The decision is overturned and quite rightly so. Matt Renshaw is not out. Australia three for three one nine. Anyway, yeah, I think Australia should just stick with four bowlers. Yeah. So you want two spinners, two pace? The thing is, they're going to have an all-rounder. I mean, okay, let's start from number one. As Renshaw flicks that onto the onside for no run. Um, Renshaw and Warner. No doubt they're going to open for Australia. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Kawaja, he's probably going to play. Yeah. And of course, Smith at four. Who comes in at five? Oh, of course, Hanscom. Right? Who comes in at four then? Okay, um. Yeah, well, I think Hanscom should move up the order. To what, no, though? Smith should. Uh, it's alright. Number four should be Smith. Yeah, Smith is four. Hanscom's probably gonna stick at five. And six is the big issue. If Hilton Cartwright proves himself in this game, selectors will probably stick with him. I mean, he, he bowls decent medium paces, which can be good in India. Take a bit of pace off the ball. Slowish wickets. Yes. Okay. Yeah. But if he sucks, they have the, uh, they have the option of going back to Madison, Voges, Marsh. I mean, Mitch Marsh, because Sean Marsh, he's not even doing that well. And also, you need an all-rounder. That is the all-rounder's position, unless they put Steve O'Keefe at 6. Because he's sort of an all-rounder, no, a bowling no. all-rounder. Nah, no, not really. Yeah. I'd rather, I'd rather stay in Marsh, because Marsh plays spin well. And he's, and he's cracking up a few runs in the BBL right now. Yeah. So... If Cartwright does well, fine, put him in the side if he doesn't bring Marsh back in. So, seven will be the keeper. Should Matthew Wade continue, or do you want Peter Neville to come back? No, I don't know. I think Wade should continue. Wade? Uh, you like nice Gary, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Shafiq has... Shafiq is in the attack. Figures none for three. That is shit. On the leg side, turned away for a single. Hanscom moves on to 26. Australia now 3 for 3. 20. So, that's the wicket keeper done. Who comes in at number 8? Uh, number 8 should be Lion, I guess. What? <laughs> you say? <laughs> oh, Lion. No, not Lion. Gaza will come in at 11. Flicked on the oh, leg side okay, by Renshaw for another single. Moves on to 138. Not out. Uh, yeah, I think Steve Oak... Because Australia have to play at least two spinners in India. But how? I mean, if they go with three, they only have one, one pace bowler. And... The all-rounder, who is either a medium pacer or a fast medium bowler in Marsh. And if they only pick one quickie, is it going to be Stark or Hazelwood? Down the track. And punishes it down the ground for a single long on down there. Australia 3 for 3, 2, 2. Uh, so, yeah. One spinner, two... Oh, sorry. Two spinners, three. Two 
two spinners or three? Um, three. But who? And in what position? And that is flicked on the onside by Renshaw, and that is gonna get at least three. Oh, well done. Well done by the fielder in the deep who flicks it back, and Renshaw will come back for three. Same to run there. Anyway, yeah. Wait, look, I keep cutting you off when you're about to speak. Keep, keep going, please. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. Oh, he stepped on the boundary. That's gonna be four. I believe that is gonna be four. All that effort for nothing. It's just not Pakistan's day, is it? Vanessa's gonna be their day, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully is the key word. Uh, so yeah, you want O'Keefe, Lion, and Agar? Yeah. Okay. That's if who didn't perform well? Cut right. Uh, so. Wait, how's that gonna work? I wonder the spinner's gonna play at six? Because all of them are more or less bowlers. Well, Mitchell Stark is no rounder, so it's four dirt. Mitchell Stark can't bat at six, though. I mean. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, here's my proposal. You, you, you can counter it if you want to, but I think Australia should stick with two, two specialist spinners in Lyon and O'Keefe or maybe Agar, one or the other uh, Hazelwood Stark and Mitch Marsh that's the three seam options and Steve Smith can bowl some handy leg breaks as well so basically you're going with this current team who's playing now you like it? sort of yeah but Okay, what's your proposal? What's your ideal team? What? What do you want Australia to play? Like, make, make up your own team now. As Yasir Shah comes into bowl, flicked on the onside by Hanscom for a single. Hazelwood. Hazelwood. And leave out Stark? Stark. No, I, I didn't say that Hazelwood, Stark, um, Nathan Lyon, uh, Wade. But instead of Cartwright, I'll probably pick. Oh, of course, Ashton Aker can bat at six, can't he? Huh. Yep. He actually can. Although he debuted batting 11. But, you know, he can bat six. Hmm. Okay, that, that's... I don't know what you guys think, as Renshaw cuts that away, and, and that will be a boundary. Moves on to 148, and the new ball is due in about an over. Yasir Shah just being punished. He has figures of 1 for 121, and Australia now 3 for 3 to 3. Yeah. Try saying that quickly. So yeah, that's the possible team. Okay, so your predictions for this game? Um, depends. It really depends on the first game for Pakistan. First yeah, batting. yeah. Um, if they can get like four hundred something. Yeah. Uh, they'd, they'd be pretty good. Like, if they can just get 400, 500. Okay, okay. That's not bad. Players, so. Drag down and pulled away for a single. Two. Renshaw, yeah. Renshaw moves on to 149. Well, I think Australia can make 500 here without any doubt. So it's going to be tricky for Pakistan because this pitch is only going to get slower as the, as the days go by. That's why Australia brought two. It brought in two spinners. The good thing for Pakistan is that they've got quality batsmen who can play spin well. That's their advantage. Yes. Yeah, but they haven't been in form lately. No, they haven't. Haven't. But I think if Yunus Khan can spend just you know take as much time as he needs to chew up as many balls like what Renshaw did this morning I think he can go on and make a big one you've just got to take it one ball at a time as Yashir Shah bowls the last ball of the over flicked on the leg side no run oh wait no they, they took a single I think and so the new ball is you because 80 overs are up and Australia now 3 for 3 3 5 so if Pakistan can, you're saying if Pakistan can make 400, 500, will it be a draw or can they win? Depends on 
depends on how fast they make those maps. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think it's gonna rain like in Melbourne. Um, no. So yeah, hopefully you get a bit more playing time. If they can, let's say Australia declare at about 550. Or actually, mm, hard to say because they're going, at, they're going so fast, they can make 600 by, by the first session tomorrow, by the end of the first session tomorrow. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, let's say they declare at 600. Pakistan make 500, 520-ish. Very unlikely. Let's just say they do, let's say Miss Bus still gets yeah, out for a duck, but Yunus Khan makes 200. As Muhammad Amir comes back into the attack with the new ball. Um, so yeah, Pakistan make 520. They trail by around about 80. Keep in mind, Australia, Australian batsmen suck at playing spin, and that's why we're going to get absolutely annihilated in India. Because we suck at playing spin. This pitch is going to slow down, it's going to turn as the days go on. There is always a chance of an Australian collapse in the second innings. Maybe get bowled out for about 200, and therefore Pakistan will only need to chase 280. That's one of the scenarios. The other scenario is, as you said, Australia make about 600. They make about... Pakistan, in reply, get bowled out for 180. And Australia win convincingly by, you know... Yeah, by an innings again. Well, I think it's probably going to be a draw. You think it's going to be a draw? Well, yeah, if, if Pakistan can build a good first innings total and not crumble in the second, then they might be able to hold on for a draw. Yes. Yes. Any chance? Yeah. Well, yeah. That's good. Oh, drop catch. You never want to see that. This is a bunch of drop catches. Oh, they've just been sloppy in the field again today, Pakistan. You need to take your chances. So, Hanscom now on 29, not out. Australia 3 for 335. As Muhammad Mir comes in to bowl with the new ball down the leg side. And well kept by Safras. So, the pick of your bowl, pick of the bowlers for Pakistan today. Um, uh, is. Probably. Okay, yeah, he's got two for. He's picked up the bulk of the three wickets for Pakistan. Yeah. Yeah. I think Yasir Shah is low in confidence at the moment. Yeah, What's that? Yeah, the keeper missed the chance. The keeper missed the chance and Hanscom was on eight. Yeah. And he couldn't stump him, so. Yeah, I know, that's so Pretty bad. Angry about it. Safras, get him out of the side. Bring in Numan Tahir. <laughs> <laughs> so Hanscom... No, <laughs> nah, the keeper doesn't bowl. <laughs> That's why you can only play the keeper. <laughs> Amir comes into bowl edge! Maybe not. Past the outside edge. Got a bit too excited. But eh, that happens. That's a beautiful delivery, a bit of out, a bit of outswing, and beastie outside edge comfortably, but you know not the best of shots from Hanscom. He just fished at it a bit like you, <laughs> but that is where you want it to land as a left arm quick. That's where I always land it, and that's why I always beat the edge. And yeah, comes into ball, Fuller driven, and that's a good shot. I'll probably go for at least two or three, or actually it rolls to the boundary. <laughs> Shot of the day, not really, but you know, three for three, three nine. That's the over bowl, Australia three for three hundred and thirty nine. Renshaw is on strike now on one forty nine. Is he gonna get out? Probably not. Well, um, I believe Wahab Ria should be bowling the next over. Nope, it's... Who's Imran? Imran Khan. Oh, what? Is he playing? I thought I thought they dropped him. He dropped him in New Zealand. No, no, he didn't. Okay. 
Anyway, Imran Khan, not the not the good Imran Khan, the Imran Khan who has cur who's currently has figures of none for 69, which is pretty poor. Okay, Matt Renshaw on strike 149, and we shall end the podcast when he makes 150. Yep, th 15 overs, 3 maidens, none for 69, at an economy rate of 4.6 for Imran Khan. Yeah, I'm afraid none of the bowlers have bowled that well. They've dropped their chances. Renshaw. No, down the leg side, unable to get contact on it, goes through to the keeper. Still on 149. Okay, 150 on, on the cards here for Renshaw. Might be this ball. Oh, inside edge. He does not want to run. Gee, he does not want the podcast to end. Hanscom now going nicely. 33 from 66 deliveries. Strike rate of exactly 50. Renshaw, well, it's a very nice 149 so far. Old fashioned. Maiden test ton as well. Only in his fourth test. That's pretty good as an opener. There we go. Imran Khan. Balls. Wide outside the off stump and played to mid off. No run. It's funny. He makes 149 and he can't even get single. Oh. Easily Australia's day today. Do you think it was bad bowling from the Pakistanis yeah. or just good batting? Uh, good batting and uh, drop chances. Yeah, drop chances. Poor fielding. I mean, you've got to support your bowlers. They're charging in. As Imran Khan is now wide off the off stump. Played to gully. More like a fifth slip. No run again. He's going to make it a maiden, isn't he? Imran Khan is not bowling too well in this spell. I think he's oh, he's spraying them all over the place. The Renshaw just can't manage to get any sort of decent contact onto it, into it, onto it. Yeah, on it. Ugh. Of course, the pink test. If you want to know more, call Glenn McGrath. He'll tell you all about it. As Imran Khan. Comes into ball on the leg side, flicked away, and that will be 150. May well just roll into the boundary. And it does. Beautiful shot to bring up his 150. 153 for the youngster. Clap, clap to hear you clap. You're not clapping, are you? No. <laughs> <laughs> He did alright though, he did alright. Yeah, yeah. I was just thinking yesterday they should just drop him. He's not even that good looking. But you know... How did he get double 10? He might, he might. As long as he shakes off the nervy start tomorrow morning. I think his goal now is just to play till the end of the day. Of course, about... Yeah. Probably about 8 more overs left. So... Yeah. Hands come on the other end, 33 still. As Imran Khan comes in to bowl. On the leg side once more, they will get another single. Oops, what did I do wrong? Uh, yeah, my computer just crashed. <laughs> it's just a <laughs> Look at what my computer is playing. It's just Safra's doing shit all. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's that. Um, so yeah, that's Matt Renshaw's 150 Australia now three for 344, and that's the first cricket podcast done and dusted. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Matchbox. Same to you, Newman Tahir. Did you enjoy it? That's good. We can do it again tomorrow. I'm kidding. <laughs> anyway, as Safras Ahmed is now hacking into my computer, as you can see, it's about time we should end this. Again, I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.
give it a thumbs up, subscribe, do all the shitty things. And hopefully Australia will win. Remember to um, like Ryan's page of videos and whatever for Backyard Legends. And we will see you the next time because, well not because, but you know, Australia have convincingly won day one at the SCG. Isn't that right? Yeah, that's right. There we go. From the expert. The Pakistani expert. That should count for something. Goodbye.